PSN Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where the follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. So, Jim Jones Capo status calls up the Joe Budden podcast. We know Joe and Jim got a relationship. We know Flip is cool with Jim and Cameron and things of that nature. We know about Pusha T alleged verse, check throwing jabs at Jim Jones. We seen Jim Jones clap back. When I say clap back, responded back to Pusha T. Some people feel um, it's Jim 1-0 because, and I agree with that to a degree if you want to play, play that game. Because let's be honest, Jim was more direct. Now, is this making the top 100 diss tracks of all time? No, it's not. We don't got to go in that bag. I'm going that bag enough. But there's some things we got to talk about in my Cortez voice, man. Listen, I'm not expecting people to go up there with, uh, and Joe and them to, to, to kill Jim Jones and say this is basura, trash, garbage, caca juice. This ain't it. But uh, Joe, you got to understand something, Joe. Even though you podcast Joe now, you got your toes out wearing slippers and everything and, and, you, and, you, and you're wearing Hermes and everything like that. And, you know, you're in that bag right now, fine. For, all right, cool. But dogs, let's be honest here, man. Like I said, Jones calls up to the podcast to talk about his diss track to push a T. And like I said, this really was not a diss track in my opinion. I know some of y'all are going hard about the Malice line calling a crackhead. Does that force Malice to come outside? We'll see soon. And like y'all told me, Pusha T first joint was a light jab. So I'm expecting a second round knockout like cannabis. According to y'all, right? Now, Joe Budden. Fam, I know you're removed from hip-hop and you, you, for some reason, all of a sudden now, for the last couple of years, you like to turn up music and everything like that, you know? And yeah, like you forgot about your roots when it comes to hip-hop, and I don't mean black thought roots, but you forgot your roots when it comes to hip-hop. You were the same one telling us, telling us years ago, you know, they're teaching y'all to... Um, Dance, if it's got a Dougie, I'm gonna sit this one out or something like that. You said one of them joints you said, if they got a Dougie, I'm not condoning, I'm condoning dropping out, whatever line you had there, man. Right? And so, you're telling Jim's, I think this could be entertaining. You think Jim Jones and Pusha T can be entertaining? Why could this be entertaining? Because let me get this right. So in this corner, we got Joe Budden saying that he thinks Jim Jones and Pusha T would be entertaining. We got in this corner, I just saw Jada Kiss online saying, I don't like the battle at all. I'm not feeling this at all. So which one is it, fellas? Is it Black Girl Lost or Shorty owe you for ice? Which one is it, bro? You know what I mean? Fam, Joe, you, you, Joe, come on, fam. You, you, you've had mad lyrical warfare with a lot of people in a lot. Fam, you beef with whole 50 Saigon Ransom Prodigy. You told Prodigy, don't worry about me, worry about your Medicaid. You ain't as big as an apostrophe. Beats help you help your ass most of your career. Those are like, those are those are bars. Joe, what's wrong with you? You on the phone with, with Jen, like, they, like, fam. You up there laughing with Jim Jones, knowing the diss track is light, Joe. Knowing it's light, bro. Come on. You can't tell me a person of your ilk who used to get at Drake and all these cats, you gonna tell me you think this Jim Jones diss track is that? Are you faking the funk like the main source song? Shout out Large Professor. Thinking the funk. I wish you to challenge him on that and be like, yo, couple. Oh no, man. You my guy. Like, this ain't it, Jim. I need you to go back. Like, I don't think that would have been hard, hard, harsh to say. I mean, that's your man, so you can't rip him. You got a relationship. But come on, dogs. What did 
When did you become Pusha T's lawyer also, Joe? Talking about, I don't think he got all the time in the world to be able to keep it up. If it's if it's um, an intense battle happens, how do you know Pusha T can't keep up? What? What is he? What, what do you know his schedule? You know his itinerary? What is he? What is he got a, a Paris outfit days for the last next month in Paris rocking outfits? Like, when did you become Pusha T's lawyer? I want a PR guy. When did this transpire? Telling another man, he turned um. Jim Jones, the king of drip? Come on, Joe. I don't want to hear you telling another dude you're the king of drip. <laughs> Fam, like, really? And Jim Jones, you said, I'm not Drake. I'm really outside. <laughs> These niggas don't be in the same places. I'm at, I'm at the, the places they at. They can't come where I show up at. So, all right. So, let me say, you can go to the places that that you, 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 you be in places that they're at, but they can't be in the places you're at. What is it, Jim? They can't go to Harlem, 125th Street, and hang out in Harlem. Is that what, is that what you're telling? So we're going to put creatives of 40-year-old niggas chilling on the block still, they're able to go to their block and everything. I'm sorry, bro. That doesn't mean nothing to me that you're able to go on your block. Who cares? At 40 some years, I don't give a rat's ass. You can go back on the block and post up and roll up some trees. They send Shorty to the store to get backwards. I don't care about that. I mean, like, you really, it's all in really outside talk. Drake wasn't outside. You acting like you gave us a back-to-back -back joint. You ain't even give us a charge up joint. So that, to, 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 to say Drake, I ain't Drake, I'm outside. What does that mean if you're outside? Because you're outside does not mean you can drop a dope diss track. Respectfully, Jim, that means nothing to me. Because you're outside? Yo, know, son, these rappers, man. Because you're outside. Okay. And, and, and Joe, you up there nodding to Jim this track like it's hard. You acting like this is some second round knockout joint. Like, fam, really? Come on, son. You like you like, you fronting like you really like Joe, you don't really like that joint, my dude. Let's keep it a thousand. If me and you having a conversation while you smoking a bogey, you gonna you're not gonna tell me this is hard. That's not hard. And go Joe, I can tell. Oh, I, I could tell. I could tell Jim. You took your time with this, Joe. Hey, well, you know, you used to be a rapper. So, like, can you explain to us, and educate us some more on how you can tell that Jim Jones took his time? How did you know he took his time? What was the line? Was it the Madness line? Call him a crackhead? Was it that? Or was he saying that his juice is real? What was the infamous line that 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 Jim Jones said that made you say, "Okay, yeah, I can tell you really took your time with this one"? How can you tell? Number one, you're so removed from hip hop. How can we, what are you talking about? Like, what? Like, fam. Like, how did you come up with that hypothesis that Jim, that Jim took his time? And Jim told him, who's going to spin the block for him? Yo, Jim, respectfully, dog, you're not Hova Nas. That I think Pusha T needs to grab everybody for a track to come at you, bro. This ain't that. This ain't that, bro. And let me just say this, clear this up. I have no problem with Jim Jones getting that Pusha T. This is hip hop. I have no problem with Jim Jones saying a few. I have, I have no issues with that. Back it up in the verses now. You know what I mean? And, and Joe, you acting like Pusha wasn't on your show when he had beef with you. I had Drake up there on your show years ago. I mean, Pusha on your show years ago. If I'm Pusha T, man, Pusha, man, if you decide to make a diss track at Jim and them, man, Please take a shot at Joe Budden. Just take a little bit. Get one rip shot in a diss track, man. You know what I mean? And I got to be honest, Jim. You did this before with the locks, even though it wasn't as personal. But going into the verses, you talking wild, heavy. You were style speak. You was talking wild. It wasn't even cam. You were doing the most talking. And then what happened? Y'all got your ass kicked. Did you not? And then Jim said, Pusha always wanted to be from New York. I know that's just trash talking. I mean, I never got that vibe that Pusha wanted to be from New York. That's what I'm saying, Jim. When you did when you did the choppy, see, Joe Budden, you're supposed to be a um, a journalist, right? I would have pressed him and been like, "Yo, you said you made it sound like um, Pusha T can't come to New York. He never posted up on New York blocks. He was in a Popeyes video with your man Cameron. Why you never said that though? I wish you'd have said that, you know. And then the worst bar of this whole conversation that hurt my heart and soul 
is Joe Budden telling Jim Jones, Jim, this feels like the old New York. Wait for it, Joe Budden. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? This feels like the old New York? Fam, what, 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 what in this diss track made you feel like the old New York? What was it? Did this give you a 50 and, and, and the locks are going at? Did you get that vibe? Did you get that vibe with Jay, Jay the Kiss and DMX just taking shots at Beans and Hope? Or, uh, 820 Beanie Max? Did that give you that feel? It didn't even give you the real Roxanne Chante feel. Rox, it didn't even give you Roxanne Chante feel. It didn't give you that. What are you talking about? That, what, what feel? It didn't give you that. What old New York feel did it give you? In the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. This ain't no Peacock. Peacock is not taking this joint and throwing it on his dish. Look what he talking about. This ain't that. This ain't Jay-Z getting that um, jail felony. Your man Jay, he's not a mister. He's not a felony. He's a misdemeanor. This ain't that. This ain't nature and Niles taking shot. This ain't that, bro. Feel like the old New York. Man, please stop that. Stop that, Joe. You sound crazy. We don't believe you. You need more people. You sound crazy. This feel like the old New York? The energy. The only energy God I know is Elephant Man in Jamaica. What do you mean energy? This ain't no... Jim ain't giving no energy like that. What? Come on, son. This ain't that. Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. It's your boy, three. One.